Today's Gospel, Sunday, is taken from St. John chapter 6, verses 1 to 15. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs. He was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people reclined. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined, about five thousand in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign, he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Faith Food Reflection is from Father Ray Helia of OSM. In our Gospel story today, the Lord Jesus feeds more than 5,000 people out of barely five loaves and two fishes from a boy who readily shared his personal provision. This feeding story is yet another sign performed by Jesus to show that, first, God sees man's hunger. Faced with a situation where thousands are hungry, Jesus knows what to do. He tests his disciples, he tests their faith. But he is in control of any of man's dire situation. With him, the impossible becomes possible. However, Jesus didn't ask heaven to rain down bread like what happened at the time of Moses. It was out of the generosity of a little boy who shared his bread and fish that the Lord feeds them. Second, God feeds his people. This feeding story is an assurance that God will never deprive us of anything necessary in life. Food stands for anything that is necessary for our life and salvation. Beyond physical bread, the feeding is a foreshadowing of something better yet to come. The bread of life, who is Jesus, the one thing necessary in life. Third, Jesus is the true bread that satisfies human hunger. Third, Jesus is the true bread that satisfies human hunger. The action words being used like took the bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave to his disciples are all the same action words used in the consecration of the Eucharist in every Mass. In fact, this feeding story is just a prelude to the lengthy discourse of Jesus on the bread of life. He is the bread of life that came down from heaven, and whoever receives him will have everlasting life. In his discourse, Jesus challenged his disciples to seek for the bread that lasts forever, the bread that only he can give, his very flesh. The story ends up with Jesus giving instruction to pick up the pieces left over. Why? 
because he does not want it to be wasted. Wasting is a sign of indifference. Indifference to the millions of people out there who had nothing to feed on. Indifference to those who scavenge for their own survival. Saving is also a manifestation of spiritual poverty. That is, the need to be fed on. And finally, saving is also a sign of generosity. When we save, we set aside for others. When we save, we assure our future. The problem of today's world is not actually the scarcity of resources, but greed and dissipation of resources. Our world's resources are controlled by a rich few, and these rich few do not understand the words tipunin, pagsayangin. Let us pray. Jesus, teach me not to be wasteful, that I may have more to share with others. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.